dequa, uh, excuse me, a duqua up here, which we've removed surgically. We are going to provide a primary layer to our wound, uh, that incision that is all sutured up, uh, that contact layer. Here I put the talpa pad uh, because again, it will uh, nicely absorb any drainage from this incision. And when we do remove this bandage, it's not gonna stick or upset that clot. We wanna provide a secondary layer and the secondary layer has to provide a little bit of padding and some compression. And so I'm going to choose the cling wrap because it's going to um, tackle both of those necessities. We're going to practice Auntie Tracy toilet paper and it is going to, because when you go to Tracy's house it's like this and, and we're replacing it like this. When you wrap around the extremity, you're, by doing this it's going to provide consistency. And what I mean by that is, the first time you roll it around, you don't need compression. That's kind of acting as a locking mechanism. But as I come around, I'm just gonna tug it a little bit to provide some compression, some squishing. And when I come around, I'm gonna do the exact same with the exact same amount of tug. If you were to get close, do you see how nice and even so as I'm unrolling it, you can see that it is consistent. So one side of this bandage isn't thicker than the other. When you have a sufficient amount of bandage, then we need to protect this bandage and we're going to put on a contact layer, excuse me, a superficial layer. And I'm gonna choose vet wrap because it sticks to itself and not the animal. And um, my other option is Elasticon, which is a really sticky material. And if you feel that this animal um, is gonna bother this bandage, maybe you would opt for the Elasticon. Having said that, when you remove this bandage, that Elasticon, is, that sticky, sub, sticky side, is gonna take off a lot of fur. When you put the vet wrap or the Elasticon over the primary and secondary layer, you have to cover it completely because if any of that secondary layer gets uh, wet from the outside environment, you'll have to change the entire bandage versus if we went outside and we got wet um, only the vet wrap, then we would just change the vet wrap. You can see here if I need more vet wrap, I can unroll it, but again, um, I don't want to wrap it with all of that tension on it because then it would be um, a significantly too tight of a bandage. If you want added security, you could put a layer of tape, proximal, proximal and distal um, to support it. But again, based on what you saw with your primary and secondary layer, you shouldn't need it. This bandage will be kept on for about 24 hours post-surgically. And once you're ready, and I have my fingers, um, the digits, the phalanges, so I can look at the digits to assess if my bandage is too tight. When this is about to come off, I'm going to take bandage scissors so it doesn't cut the animal. And away from the incision, I don't want to like poke the incision at all. Um, I'm just going to work my way up the bandage or down the bandage. Or else you could take this bandage off one layer at a time. Again, when that comes off, I can observe that incision. 